welcome back to another show and tell video today we're looking at a vintage Polaroid instant camera using uh, cartridge film and uh, feel free to research the past history of Polaroid as well as the concept of instant film cameras so it's basically its own photographic dark room that's portable and uh, given uh, an environment where you want to have pretty much close to instant gratification on seeing a photograph uh, ta uh, produced uh, pretty much uh, soon after taking a photo this is uh, one of those ideal type of cameras and these were originally developed uh, prior models in the 1970s and this one I guess uh, the Sun 600 LMS which stands for light management system was actually introduced originally in the uh, mid 1980s and uh, if we go ahead and take a look at it I'll just show you some of the uh, external features of it. I don't have a film cartridge but those are still actually uh, available. Uh, they've actually kind of made a comeback so you can look online for sources of that. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I have it propped up on a couple of little plastic pieces right now but it's basically real simple. You got your carry strap here and plastic body and uh, just go over the external features. So basically the main thing that differentiates this model from some of the other ones and, and why it's called Sun 600 is that it actually has its own built-in flash uh, and uh, this uh, particular model doesn't require any battery changes because integrally the film cartridge that is inserted through the front actually has its own battery included with it so there's really no need to uh, worry about running out of batteries provided that your film pack still has battery life in it so there are other videos online that I encourage you to check out for very detailed uh, information on operation, etc. Uh, and the finer details of this camera. I'm just going to just go over a real quick show and tell. So here's your lens aperture, which uh, takes the picture itself. This is the front of the viewfinder which is actually here you can sort of see my finger through there and there's actually a top and bottom portion you would aim through this portion here which is actually direct sight there is no actual view through the camera lens itself so you would pretty much align your image through here and there's actually a bottom portion here that would actually uh, give you an indication as to whether or not the light management feature is in operation. So you can see, if you ignore the really bright bar, you can sort of see the lower portion there. So what happens is, with the light management system, you can actually select via the slider switch whether or not you want to take a dark picture uh, possibly light background or a uh, light picture on a dark background if my understanding is correct don't hold me to that feel free to research that on your own but uh, by sliding the switch back and forth you will actually see an indication through the lower portion as to which uh, setting you're actually on it's kind of a reminder uh, there is this kind of access port back here which is not usually user serviceable 
uh, but you can, I guess, get that uh, the internals looked at by a uh, service point. But uh, to actually get to the internals here is a slider switch. You push that forward. You will load the film pack, battery pack here. You can actually see the electronic contacts in the back there. It's all one unit. It's kind of a uh, almost like a kind of reminds me of a disc pack kind of that we do with it's uh, square in shape and with a rectangular profile. And you just slide in, and then you would close this, and you would actually hear the mechanism load and preset to your first photo. Um, if I reopen this again, you can see here the this was actually made in the UK, and it's actually Corporation USA, and then you can see it's the EU there, so European Union. So it kind of gives you a time frame of when this was made, and the serial number, etc. And you can see up here it's Polaroid, not all in caps, but with capital P and then lowercase name there. Same with the Sun 600. There's our light management system uh, logo there. And basically this protects the internals, keeps the dust off, and then once ready to use you got your flash here. This is uh, your trigger switch pretty much. Your, to control the aperture, take a picture, you would just press that. And I guess to activate the uh, flash you would actually hold this and it would then uh, charge the flash and then take a flash picture now it does take uh, some time for the flash to run but if the green uh, light is on it's ready to take a flash picture if the red light is on the battery is actually feeding power to charge the capacitor for the light so you have to actually wait a number of seconds before it changes to green so in other words you would still be holding this down and then then it would take the picture so instant is kind of a nomenclature it's not actually truly instant but compared to taking a picture and having to remove the film go to a dark room setting develop the film process it, make a print, etc. This is a lot faster and gives you almost a quick gratification of having a photograph that you can actually examine and uh, give to somebody or keep for yourself. So it's basically all in one camera and darkroom in one package. And at the time this was a relatively compact uh, unit. Um, so again, Polaroid, Sun 600, LMS light system, and uh, these are were made in quite a large number, and you might be able to find one out there for not not a very expensive price. It's a pretty neat uh, retro nostalgia item that uh, has also been brought back in the 21st century in uh, a certain amount of numbers as well. So there's not only just the original ones, but there's also retro newer production models as well. So this has been a quick uh, show and tell video. Uh, feel free to check out other show and tell videos on the channel for vintage, mill syrup, and uh, other tool items. I'm just trying to set this back up here. I'm not being very successful. But, uh, oh, I'll just hold on to it there. Uh, we also do unboxing videos on the channel. Feel free to check those out. We also do uh, a selection of book review, uh, media reviews. Feel free to check those out. As well as Curios for the Curious, more artsy uh, type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. And... We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.